Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tsarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling once again I want to uh, remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Leo star signs and uh, it's going to resonate in a different level with uh, the different uh, Leos so for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread and as well I'm going to try to give you a few examples uh, to make my points a little bit more clearer but um, at the end you will have to uh, align that reading with your own personal situation for maximum accuracy and uh, if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed uh, by me through Tarot, just like I'm doing for the examples in the video, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So just from the over overview uh, here, Leo, um, things are not going to change much through the month of February. Now what these, uh, these cards are pointing here really is that the best thing you can do for yourself is doing exactly nothing um, but instead going with the ordinary plans or routines that uh, you are having until this very moment. Now what we do have here with the Hierophant card accompanied with the Fool for that matter, it does look like that the um, I will say it that way, that the new beginning or the difference uh, that you want to make uh, in uh, some of your fields, uh, either career, relationship, you know, or a friendship and etc, etc, uh, has, already uh, has already started, if I may express it that way. And uh, right now, uh, what you need to do here, it is just waiting for the right circumstances to happen. Now, how, you, how this month is going to go forth is that instead of frantically trying to um, create for yourself new enterprises, new beginnings, and especially to take risks either regarding career or relationship-wise, these cards over here are advising you, Leo, to uh, instead indulge deeper with the current undertakings that you already have and uh, perform in them like, like there is no tomorrow. Now, the uh, Hierophant card is all about um, the per the performance itself rather than about the results of that performance. This card, we do have a sentence here in um, in my country which says that uh, if you help yourself the universe is gonna help you too. So uh, basically this is what happens throughout this month. You help yourself, you do things without complaining too much for them, you do them the way uh, the way you think they should be done, which means that there should be no cutting corners, there should be no compromises with a, a certain um, with a certain performance or with a certain execution of plans, of deeds, of responsibilities, and etc. etc. Even if it seems tough, because at some point it's going to seem tough having these couple of cards here as intentions and predicaments, but ultimately your um, kind of like um, your toils are going to uh, are going to give results somewhere at March or maybe April because here at the end of the month we cannot see yet a resolution but the the darkening sky it starts opening itself again now we at the end we can see the sunshine all right it's not um the sunshine is not as much as uh, you would like to or is not as much as it can be, but you are getting there. Now, the thing is that <clears throat> with these cards here is, is that it's probably a little bit too late to back off. Uh, not without any uh, kind of like consequences, uh, a bad consequences for your behalf. And uh, the very important thing that you should do as well throughout this month 
is that you need to consult yourself with experienced people. For example, uh, if you are um, executing a business of yours, these cards here are pointing that instead of salvaging your execution right now and starting anew, you should consult yourself with business advisor or with financial advisor and etc. etc. Basically, there are people with knowledge here that can help you and everything will be resolved uh, when a conversations are led in the existing framework rather than seeking something outside of the framework that you are placing yourself right now all right <clears throat> Additionally, these cards here are pointing that throughout this week, throughout this month, excuse me, you may find, uh, how can I place it, a, a new definition for love, all right? So, uh, what that means is that you may find some of your criterias for love a bit outdated and uh, for that reason, you may place for you in your uh, for yourself new criteria which are going to open new possibilities. But ultimately, going to the second to the second position, which is the uh, intentions that you need to um, incorporate. Now, these cards here are pointing that you always only have to wait. What the cards are saying that you already did what you could, all right, and now you need to leave the time to do its job. It's all matter of time and also a, if it's not time, it's about different perspective. But I do think that we're talking about time here. What we can see is that you did a lot, all right? And uh, probably you have expected that things are going to happen faster than they are happening right now. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, at least not with these cards. The Hangman, it's a card that you cannot fight against, all right? It's a card that you cannot overcome with efforts, with, with toils, with action. The Hangman is overcome as the Hangman points to delays, problems, and etc., etc. But the Hangman is overcome only through submission, only through a resignation. So only thing that you need to do here, guys, is wait. So you have planted the seeds and now you need to wait those seeds to grow and to become flowers, to, um, to flourish, to thrive, right? Uh, it, you may want to happen faster, but the appearance of the hangman here intentional wise it, it points that that is kind of like impossible. Additionally, that card may uh, reflect to um, paperwork, right? So let's say that you are applying for a visa and you need your visa as fast as possible. Well, these cards here are pointing that, for example, your visa will happen just in the framework of the time frame that uh, the government has. You know, for example, the government has three weeks to uh, to have your visa ready well you cannot have it on the second week you are going to have it just on the third week period right so you need to give these uh, enterprises you started a time to thrive and a time to unfold and to develop and then we go to the challenges here which is the knight of wands with the ten of wands so what these cards here are pointing really it is at the uh, the tension that you uh, that you may experience uh, thinking that there is additional uh, something more that you could do you know and uh, having yourself how can I place it having yourself despondent and poignant for the fact that everything is in the hands of, of time is it, and is in the hands of faith. And at that point, it's not like you cannot control anything, but uh, even whatever you try to do, it's uh, utterly futile um, at the end of the line. And uh, actually giving it giving its time gives more results than trying frantically to scamper around and to seek additional options available. That will be the challenge here in the predicament to seek the different option available different options available. But the ten of wands here is saying that um, what is done is done, and now it needs it needs its time and uh, further efforts or further toils in it uh, is uh, pre proving it, it it is proving itself uh, stressful futile and uh, in vain as well 
So, um, <clears throat> How you can overcome that situation? Well, with these cards, um, you should uh, try to find for yourself um, something not that meaningful or something peripheral to occupy your attention. For example, if we we're talking about career uh, here with these couple of cards, all right, maybe um, by the time you are waiting things to develop into your career, you should put more attention into your private life. If you are single, then these cards are pointing that you should start going out and date other people and etc. etc. You know, it's kind of like having more exciting life, which is outside of the framework of this enterprise here which is, I will put it that way, the most important thing happening to you right now, right? So we have the most important thing happening to you right now being uh, in, in the queue and waiting for its time to come. If you say it, it's a ticking bomb, well, we are, you are waiting here or you should wait here, you know, the timer to go to zero. And in the meantime, it won't hurt here if you try to drop a severe burdens from your shoulders like having fun with friends you know or going hiking it does depend it, it, it does depend what poison uh, what what is your poison you know some people likes to go into pubs other people likes to basically hike or hang out with friends and etc etc me personally i like to play video games right so it's kind of like focus entirely on your hobbies and on those things which are exhilarating you rather than um, <clears throat> kind of like scraping your nails and uh, worrying about what could happen with the most important thing that you have at your play right now as it is developing on its own accord, right? You cannot do much about it right now. So worry about it when you can do actually something for it right now, but instead throughout the month of February, you should do something for yourself and for your private and personal life. The next card that we do have here, this is going to be the Devil card, which comes as a guidance, and then we do have the Chew of Wounds as a accompanying card. So that is a little bit of a strange, strange, excuse me, strange message, because the Devil card it's advising you to realize um, to realize of your power or what kind of a consequences your presence have. So uh, most likely you have uh, the uh, the power to influence a lot of people or a lot of situations. And throughout this month, while you are waiting here, your things to develop, for example, as I said, your visit to come around, you know, or uh, the client for your business to make up their mind, because that could be very well the thing, you know, you kind of present your offer to a client and they are saying to you, I'm going to think about it. And the last thing you want to do here is keep spamming them with email. Uh, did you make up your mind? Uh, what do you think about that? You know, making up new propositions and etc, etc. Because you're confusing them. You got to leave them to make up your, their mind. And in the meantime, you can't do much about, you know, speeding up that process. So instead, you should turn into a peripheral activities just like I said and here you need to realize that how much potential you do have because this these couple of cards are pointing that you can influence a lot influence upon projects influence upon people especially upon people and these cards are kind of giving you the uh, the property of being very I will use the term bruisey but let's say demanding and that could be the case that could be a case that you are not aware of, all right? So for yourself, you can be completely normal, but in the eyes of others, you can be, you can look like a very, very demanding, all right? And that's why you have to think about it, because these cards here are pointing that if you are smart about your influence, if you are smart about your, uh, <clears throat> your power that you are possessing, you can develop a lot for yourself. You can open for yourself a lot of doors. So what these cards are pointing here is that you should start planning for additional undertaking, not initiating it, but planning for it here. How you can develop your, uh, your skills further, how you can, uh, you know, multiply, let's say your finances, if you want to say it that way, how you can make your husband 
more uh, happier how you can make your wife happier or how you can surprise a lot of your friends so they can find you for um, as a uh, you know as an awesome guy or a girl uh, it does depend you know what kind of hobbies you do have because that is more tied to the hobbies into and to the crazy ideas that one minds had you know so basically with these cards here as an advice you should start uh, turning your look upon uh, things that you haven't manifested yet that you are only dreaming for that you are only yearning for and uh, by uh, using your time productively here to plan for those things imminently with these couple of cards uh, you will find at least a, a very small means how you can make the first steps toward you know maybe in the next half a year for example but definitely is gonna uh, is going to reward you with additional front that you can work with of course uh, you know that could be as well a sign of a fair affair that you can um, achieve all right so it's kind of like exploring people here which are finding you attractive which are finding you un uh, irres irresistible excuse me and uh, if you have a weak angels that is as well an expression in my country weak angels means that you are uh, very uh, tempting or ra rather like you kind of succumb to temptation so if you have a weak angels uh, you can indulge yourself with it will you going to be caught well I cannot say that it's not shown here into this uh, reading but you can uh, definitely um, kind of like use your influence you know to attract a, a lover Either this can be in a fair format or it could be into a friends with benefits format. Unfortunately, it doesn't say that it's going to be stable in a long term one. It could be more like a uh, um, indulgement, it's going to be more like a um, <clears throat> um, pleasant experience, but a short term one. And lastly, we do have the Four of Cups here with the King of Swords, which is the final outcome. So what these cards here are pointing is that you need to have at the end of the month very keen mind, especially as this, um, the time is already, um, as already looming on the horizon for your things to be developed. And so you need to have that keen mind to seize opportunities in the framework of this, uh, of this enterprise or of this agenda. Four of Cups, it is pointing that right now uh, you are just, how can I place it? Uh, it's very difficult to explain it really. <clears throat> it does represent uh, the, um, the consumption of, uh, of one's virtue. It does represent the, uh, the exhaustion of... Uh, of one's time and of one's uh, options available which is a good thing for you you know you already you are relying on time and you, we have the exhaustion of that time and what these cards are pointing that as soon as this thing it's put back into stir you can make an, an additional commitment into something else so an opportunity to make an additional commitment into something else is going to come around at the end of the month here but you have to be with a very keen mind and completely logically oriented so you can take advantage of it additionally what these cards here are pointing is that you should be very very calculative you should not care for circumstances or for people that that serve you nothing all right everything in your life at the end of the month of february needs to serve a purpose just like you serve a purpose in someone else's life or in 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 a different situation that you are involved in so you need to uh, these cards as well could point that at the end of the month you will kind of like uh, banish that uh, uh, that influence or activity which is um, uh, which is delaying your things which is delay delaying your um, improvement or rather growth because it does not serve any purpose in your life right so it's kind of like everything at the end of the month is going to become purposeful <clears throat> in your environment into your career into your relationship friendship circle and you name it just uh, to finalize uh, this reading guys have fun 
you know don't don't worry for things that uh, you cannot uh, you cannot alter at that specific moment because when you worry you are focusing on the future and of its permuta permutations that you have no control upon and you are missing the fun of today and uh, as one uh, of my favorite characters says <clears throat> you know don't concern yourself with what can be but focus on what is because when you do so you can alter what could be all right so that being said this was your um monthly reading uh, leo for february 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this is a general reading for leo star sign and for that reason in this video i try to explain uh, I try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately at the end guys it's up to you to make sense of it or rather like to align it to your personal uh, situation now if you want me to do that for you just like I did for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!